Airlines hate you, and you should celebrate every time one goes bankrupt. Welcome to the best show in the universe, I'm Maddox. Shortly after 9-11, everyone decided that the most rational response to the extremely unlikely event that their flight would get hijacked was to avoid air travel altogether. The airline industry found itself struggling for its very existence and started levying fees to help make up the cost. The fees are for everything from checked luggage to choosing to sit next to a family member you're traveling with. Yes, if you buy two or more tickets on certain airlines, you actually have to pay an extra fee to not be separated from your family. Looks like the terrorists aren't the only ones holding us hostage. But as profits continue to rise and the airline industry recovers, these fees aren't going away. So I'd like to offer some new fees that I'd be happy to pay if the airline industry introduced them. Baby Buffer Zone The first is a baby buffer zone. I would pay extra to avoid sitting next to someone with a baby or small child. Airlines could screen passengers beforehand and display a sonic zone on seat selection maps that would charge extra based on your distance from the radius of the baby's audible range. I would pay a modest $10 to avoid sitting next to a baby, an extra $20 for one row away, and up to $30 to sit outside the audible radius altogether. Stow your baby fee. On that note, I'd be happy to pay a fee to stow your baby. This wouldn't be a fee for me so much as a fee I would pay to have another passenger's baby forcibly removed from their arms and stowed in the overhead compartment. The compartments would include plenty of straw and fresh water for the baby to play with. Now I know what you're thinking, but Maddox, what if the baby still cries overhead? No problem, I've thought of everything. The fees would include a small tax to help pay for a non-lethal dose of nitrous oxide that would be continuously pumped into the overhead cabin to keep your baby docile and complacent throughout the flight. Sickness Screening Fee Next, I would be happy to pay to avoid sitting next to someone sick. Passengers would give a small blood sample at check-in that would be rapidly scanned for any pathogens before boarding the flight. This fee would include screening for sexually transmitted diseases, since attractive passengers like myself have a higher likelihood of in-flight fornication with another passenger or multiple stewardesses. Bad Breath Fee I'd pay extra to not sit next to someone with bad breath. A modest $5 would start the bidding amongst fellow passengers to have a one-seat buffer area between you and the halitotically challenged idiot who still hasn't learned that flossing is important. Seriously, floss. Skinny person fee. I'd pay a fee to sit next to someone skinny. Airports could have a staff of physicians who would measure a person's body mass index before a flight. This would have the added benefit of reducing the unemployment rate at body fat caliber factories. A small percentage of this fee could even be rewarded to skinny passengers as a thank you for not displacing every last molecule of space in the cabin with adipose tissue. Punch a Delta employee. I would gladly pay a fee to punch a Delta employee right in the face. It doesn't even have to be one of my choosing. Any Delta employee would do. I would get one solid hook to the eyes, cheeks, forehead, or mouth that I can redeem at any time within a six month window before or after the date of travel. And that includes no blackout dates. In addition, the Delta employee has to look thankful for the punch to the face, as if his or her holiday plans depended on it, much like ours depends on their shady attitude, bad customer service, and hostile check-in policies. Strongman Fee Airlines used to allow anyone fit or capable of assisting during an emergency to sit in an exit row seat. Over time, passengers learned that these seats were desirable for the extra legroom, so instead of finding someone up to the task, airlines decided to charge extra for the added responsibility. Yes, it no longer matters if you're weak, unwilling, or unable to assist other passengers. Now your life is in the hands of the richest asshole willing to pay for the seat. This fee I'd pay isn't so much a fee as an arm wrestling competition. Airlines should allow the seat dispute to go to anyone who challenges and defeats the occupant in an arm wrestling contest. American Airlines Spite Fee I'd pay up to 10% extra on my ticket price to make American Airlines go out of business. The extra money would go towards a fund that would exist solely to generate returns for the eventual financial collapse of American Airlines. Upon going bankrupt, every American Airlines passenger who's ever had to fly the carrier would receive a small ornament that they could hang during the holidays, so we can feel warm and celebrate knowing that no other passenger will ever have to deal with their cramped planes, abhorrent flight attendants, and unhelpful gate staff ever again. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Maddox. makes sense right survival of the fittest yeah, yeah. you yeah. want someone who wins in an arm wrestling competition to sit next to the exit row so they can open the door with their fucking powerful arms my arms i could save lives